Hello guys, me Carson, today Capricorn at 5 and I'm gonna do a little bit of an analysis or should I say comparisons between the last time Kyle Busch was soccer punched in a race and the one yesterday evening. So it wasn't very pretty from the start when Kyle Busch kind of knows that house in the first place. So. I will try to paint a picture of where it started. So, lap one of the All-Star race. Kyle Busch and Ricky Stenhouse were together. And then in the back stretch, I believe they went three wide between McDowell, him, and Kyle Busch. Along with A.J. Allmendinger being there too. But so, what I believe Stenhouse said during the argument was, Oh, you barely touched me, Kyle. I barely touched you. And then Kyle Bush said, Oh, I don't believe you. And so it came to the aftermath of lap one and then the start of lap two, then he was gonna dump him and it showed on the onboard camera that Kyle was meant to pay back Ricky Stanhill Jr. and and his race on lap two, so so I got these two videos right here and just want to say that some of it's kind of inappropriate so yeah let me raise the volume a bit so what I have here is from 2017 Las Vegas where Bush is tr trying to approach Joey Logano and some cameraman from Fox is Zooming in on this, and I believe both instances it might have been Bob Parker's either way, but we'll just wait and see how this goes. So, we're gonna go back seven years later, or I mean, yeah, seven years ago, and see how this goes out. So, I'll play the first one, and then I'll play the second one from last night. So, let's begin. See, that's hmm, that's his uh, first time being soccer punched by somebody, but. I think he threw the first punch first, and then Logano react, and his pit crew reacted, and Kyle Busch had a bloody eyelash, I believe, near his eyelash, and it wasn't pretty, wasn't pretty either. So, I mean, what more can he ask for for a guy that is didn't win? He did win a championship in twenty fifteen during that time, but. Yeah, he was kind of brash, and yeah, like, yeah, this is probably why Kyle Busch is, was mad that day. Like, I believe the winner was Brad Keselowski, and hmm, or maybe it was Truex. Hold on one second. I kind of forget a long time ago who won certain races, so, yeah. I kind of get mixed up. <laughs> yep, yeah, I was right. Martin Truex Jr. won. Kyle Busch, uh, I mean, Kyle Larson and Brad Keselowski passed both. Logano and Buzz while they were having their mishaps and I believe Logano got in the bush. That's why Bush got went to his pistol and wanted to approach him after the race and ugh. Kyle Bush is wearing the black hat these days and you know if you mess with him expect to get punched, so <laughs> So, meanwhile, I'm going to go last night, 
Same thing. Stanhouse wanted to wait for Kyle Busch. Wait in his holler and see how it'll shape up. And let's uh, see this second video. That's probably why I didn't want to show the whole video for both of them because this video might be taken down for copyright purposes or it violates community guidelines for some reason. So that's probably why social media can get away with it for certain reasons. But we'll just have to wait and see. But I rarely post any fist fights in any of these video clips but I kind of believe YouTube is gonna just uh, let me get away with it but then again ugh. we'll just have to wait and see but next week it's the Coke 600 from Charlemagne Speedway so who knows if they'll uh, talk because then I just couldn't leave the track no tunnel and the gates is closed, so yeah, probably would have happened. Would have happened on the cell phone. Chit chat, use FaceTime, say hey, I'm sorry, didn't mean to do it. But anyways, it's just the way it is. So I'm pretty sure this is what both Bagana and Stanhouse felt. When they were not scared of Kyle Bruce. He they know their his personality and yeah. These are probably the three hated drivers in NASCAR. You have Kyle Bruce, Joe Logano, Ricky Sandow Jr. So that's why they get in these fights in the first place, because their driving style on the racetrack speaks for themselves and oh, it's just Ludicrous, stupid, by any means, and it kind of get, gets after them and haunts them in the long run, and yeah, it's just, yeah, I'm just going to stop there, so I make a Capricorn F5. Oh, hope you found this uh, Kyle Bruce fight with Joe Logano and Ricky Stanhouse Jr. a learning experience and hopefully things like this don't happen again this season. So I'm a Capricorn F5. Hope you all had a great day and peace out.